Hi guys. Well, here it is, April the 27th, Saturday night. And this is going to be actually my first official uh, night in my motorhome. Yes, I have spent the night in here before. But uh, this is the first night uh, and the start of every night from now on. I had a friend of mine, John, come over and pick up my bed yesterday. And uh, now I have no bed to sleep in in my sticks and bricks. So I'm going to have to spend the night in here and from now on every single night. So I think I've got everything set up. I'm getting it all. I've got almost everything from the sticks and bricks out here. Let me just sort of pan around. You can see what I've got. Uh, I've got stuff up here. Shelves everywhere. Let me just see here. I've got stuff in the little cubby holes back in here. Above the uh, drivers and the passenger seat I have this overhead and it's just full to the top and we have more stuff back in here the T where the TV is in the back all the storage bins are full so I've got everything put in now the motorhome's looking real good it's the house that's in shambles. I still can't uh, seem to get rid of everything there. I've still got piles of stuff in the in the house, and I'm going to have to just throw it away. Uh, all that's in the bathroom above the. Here I have some more storage in here. This is all full. Uh, in the bathroom itself, I've got stuff in there. Down below, I've got towels and things. I've got my new uh, oxygenic shower head put on. I think I showed you that once before, but I have that put on the toilet. Uh, all the water works. I've got storage down below here. That's all full. Everything's all full. Okay, and uh, there's the curtains I have all set up. I went out and purchased... Um, what are they called, the curtains? They're called blackout curtains. I purchased a couple of those. And then uh, a girl from work, her name is Colleen. She sewed them up for me. Cut them in, into the right uh, dimensions and uh, sewed them up for me. And uh, helped me with these pillows. They showed me how to sew these. I did a couple of myself and she sewed one. And uh, she sh showed me showed me how to do all that, and uh, I appreciate her help very much. Uh, if I didn't have that, I don't know what I'd do. So, thank you, Colleen, for all your help and making the curtains for me. It works perfectly. And also, I want to thank uh, Darren for uh, giving me a hand with the backup camera and monitor. There's the monitor up front, up top there. Uh, he helped me wire all that in. He helped me wire the uh, uh, the back uh, camera up. And uh, we had problems with the door in the back. It would not open. So I finally did get it open. And I took it apart, uh, the, uh, the mechanism, and uh, got it to work much better. So I lubricated it up and got it to work. So... This is it. We'll be spending our first night in here, the 27th, the Sunday the 28th. Monday night, I'm going to have to find someplace else. This won't be my home anymore here, as far as the sticks and bricks go. So I'll have to find somewhere else to go for that. Uh, other than that, I think I am ready to go. I have everything set up. I'm going to do some work on the road. I've kept some uh, some things uh, left to do. I've got a um, on order. I still have coming and waiting for um, a valve. What is it called? It's a uh, um, so you hook it up to your uh, 
propane tank. It's a T-valve sort of thing. You hook it up between the valves there now. And uh, it allows you to hook in another tank so that if that one goes dry out in the field or we're out in the road somewhere in a campground, you can add in another 20 pound, uh, which I do have in the right up in the front seat behind the passenger seat up in there below the uh, oil pan I have there. I have the front seat turned, uh, passenger seat turned around permanently this way so I can sit in it and watch TV and if I want to from there. So uh, you can hook up another tank to it or you can hook up a barbecue to it or a, a, a propane stove or anything propane you can hook it up uh, outside and, and run it from there. I uh, have that coming. I have, um, uh, for my bicycle, I, I, I have a um, ladder rack on the back where I'm going to put my bicycle. And I have a cover for the bicycle coming. And I'm going to take my bicycle out tomorrow and get the uh, wheels filled properly with air and get it ready to go so I can put it uh, up on the back and I've got uh, tonight Sunday and Sunday night in here and then uh, Monday morning I'll get up early and I'll go to work and uh, work the morning and then come back in the afternoon and uh, hopefully I can get uh, the house ready to for the landlord to come and have a look so I can get my deposit back uh, I've still got a lot of work to do in the house. Maybe I'll, we'll go inside and we'll have a look. I'll show you what I got left. And uh, you can see what I got to deal with. It's just a lot of work in the house to get all cleaned up and ready to go. So anyways, this is it. Saturday night. First night. We'll see how it goes. It should be real good. And uh, we'll talk to you in the morning. Morning, guys. I have slept in here before, but this is my first official night. I've slept in here. Uh, it's a little chilly this morning, but uh, other than that, it was a great night. I only got to bed about like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and it's uh, 8.30 in the morning right now. So I'm going to go and have some breakfast at my local IHOP store or a restaurant and... Uh, then I've got some more work to do inside the house uh, to get ready to, for moving out on Monday. Today is Sunday, so tomorrow is my last day. And then it's officially in here full time. So, let's, uh, i got to head off into the house and uh, get cleaned up and uh, wash up and get ready to go have some breakfast. Okay, like I said, this is the house, inside the house. I've got this, all this stuff here to deal with. There's my bicycle. Uh, this is the living room. I've got all this to take care of yet. My second TV to put in the in the camper van. My computer uh, little table so I can set it up anywhere. All this stuff. This is garbage. Uh, all this stuff here. And I have to deal with cleaning yet to get this all cleaned up. This is the bedroom. It should be all ready to go. All there's left in here is the table. I'll clean this up. It's pretty well cleaned already. The bathroom. The bathroom's pretty well cleaned. I just have to um, uh, pick up a few things, take the curtains down. Uh, the walls are sort of washed the best I can. I have to uh, clean that all up. This is a secondary bedroom. I have this all to deal with yet. The light keeps burning out on me. It just burnt out just now. So I've got this all. Most of this is is going to be garbage. There's just a few little things here left yet, but I have to clean it out. Uh, that, um, this was a storage room. 
it's all cleaned out. I've just got a, an axe here in a, one box with some stuff. Uh, it's ready to go. I have a couple of fishing rods here I've got to pack up and take with me. And a couple of pool cues I'm going to take along. And there's some stuff here I've got to pack up. Uh, my computer got to get packed up. Here's all my drone stuff. I've got to get it all packed up and put away. Uh, I'm going to have to find a place for that. I should have saved a spot for it. And my Rocket Hub, Rogers Rocket Hub for internet. Uh, this is the kitchen. All the cupboards are empty. There's just a few odds and ends here that I've got to clean up and get ready. Uh, the fridge, there isn't much in the fridge anymore, it's just about empty. So, that's looking good. Yeah. So, anyway. That's what I've got left. Uh, might not be too hard getting rid of uh, whatever I've got in here. But, it's uh, a lot of work as far as cleaning goes. And uh, my dad was an artist when he was alive. And he... Uh, did paintings and carvings and uh, leather work and he was most famous for a picture the Chief Dan George picture of an Indian uh, here it is here I think it's framed right here right now but I think I'm going to um, take it out of the frame and this is just a print one of one of several hundred prints that he made and I'm going to put it on the on my fridge door in the van. And uh, I like I have the owl that he carved, and I think that's all the artwork that I have of his. So um, I'm going to be ready to go there. So that's it. Saturday night, I'm spending that that night or uh, tonight in my van. And uh, then Sunday, I'm go tomorrow I'm going to try to get a lot more done, get things cleaned up in here a little bit more. And then Sunday night we'll spend in the van again at my home here, in my Sticks and Bricks home where I uh, rent. And then uh, on Monday it's off to work in the morning and for half a day. And then Monday in the afternoon I'll come back and finish cleaning up in here I hope or maybe I can ask the landlord if I can take Tuesday yet and clean up and wash the floors and uh, get things looking a little bit more presentable so I can get my damage deposit back I don't need to lose that money too so anyways uh, then Monday that's it and uh, we're gonna have to find some place to park for to stay I might the first night I might uh, just try the old Walmart deal like every most people and uh, spend the night there although I can't spend too many nights there maybe one and then I'll find uh, some place to to go after that uh, Tuesday night and the, for the rest of the week uh, for the rest of this week I'll be in town here or the rent of the rest of next week I'll be in town here and then after that uh, the week after that I'm going to tie up a lot more loose ends, get ready, and uh, find out where I'm, figure out where I'm going to spend my, my first trip, where I'm going to go and spend my uh, weeks, then from then on, heading east. So uh, I'll have to get that all figured out and calculated on where I'm going to go and how far I want to drive. My plan is to drive one uh, tank full of fuel which is about 320 kilometers or so so 320 kilometers away from here my hometown is where I'm going to spend my first uh, week or the, where I'm going to spend that night so I'll drive 320 kilometers and then stop for the day 
and park for the night and I don't know maybe spend I, I was my plan is to spend one or two nights uh, every stop so if, if I go 320 kilometers or so stop spend one or two days uh, or one or two nights and then go 320 kilometers again one or two nights again and keep doing that all the way east until I hit well I, like I said, I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way to the coast, uh, the far east coast, but I should be able to make it to Montreal is probably as far as I'm going to go. Maybe next year I'll try to head out and, and go all the way to the uh, east coast. So if I make it to Montreal, at least that'd be good. And then back from Montreal, back to Alberta here and... Uh, and then from Alberta, hopefully in September or October. I, I, like I hope to spit, take two months to get to Montreal. And then two months to come back should bring me back to September, October. And then in October, I want to head west and uh, just get to Vancouver and or the island, uh, Victoria, uh, Vancouver Island, and uh, spend the winter there. Uh, where it's uh, much milder, and then uh, hopefully next year we'll we'll do something like that all over again. So anyway, it's off for the night. I gotta have a shower, get ready for the for um, get the van all fixed up to sleep in tonight. Since I had my friend John come over and take my bed, I have nowhere to sleep. So. Uh, in the house, that is. But I have my van, so I'll go out there and uh, spend the first night in there.